welcome to Barbie Smart Budgeting. So on today's video, I will be showing you how I create my cash envelopes for your savings challenge. So I know a lot of budgeters are using like the 100 envelope challenge. I'm doing the same thing as well. Um, so you don't necessarily only just have to get like 100 envelopes. It can be 50, it can be 40, it can be 20, and then you would put like a specific amount depending on what your goal amount is. So nonetheless, in this case, I have just a few sheets here of just really, really pretty vellum paper, as you can see with the gold hearts. So to be exact, I just finished actually cutting them, but these are specifically in size six. Yep, these are an even six by six, which means that once you fold them, they'll be, It'll be actually um, three inches um, in every direction, right? So I already did fold them. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to fold them just to show you how I do what I do when it comes to these um, smaller cash envelopes. I will tell you this, and these will be in my Etsy store if you're interested. They are very time consuming. So they're very, it's very detailed, um, which is why I can see, you know, why those that make them charge you know they're pretty expensive and mostly is because of the labor and it's just very um it can be intense because you don't want to get it wrong number one right you want to be sure that you're doing everything correctly so that your customer can be happy when they receive their happy mail right so um yeah so i'm using vellum paper now so you're actually like when you purchase these you're getting like vellum on top of vellum and well the lamination paper as well as the vellum paper itself right i am so the key is to sometimes i just eyeball it but the key is to really have like your i'm um, one of these rulers this one's pretty neat because it opens up and you get to do your measurements and you get to see like size and everything so that works out pretty well for me um so it's one of these paper cutters mm -hmm. this is westcott titanium you can probably pick this up in walmart but i'm sure you can pick it up with some rifles in any kind of craft store you can pick it up um so yeah so again they are very time consuming like i said but i will say that though they're time consuming like once you are done with them they really look they really look so pretty so in this video you're going to be able to watch me make just a few obviously i'm not going to make the whole stack just because i want to show you how i do what i do and then when it comes to like laminating right you have the option of using three mil paper five mil and by the way the only difference between obviously the three mil and the five mil is that the five mil will be thicker which means that your end product will be a little bit more of a better quality i want to say i'm so, i mean i've used the three mil and the end product by all means still looks really nice so don't get caught up just you know with the numbers but definitely five mil i would say is more like durable so if i had to tell you what the difference is that would be the difference the five mil is like lasting longer i'm so yeah so I don't even know how many sheets I had here to begin with. I want to say it was 12, which means, or maybe six, which means I would have done 12 of these since what I did was I just cut them right in half. I just split it down, straight down the middle. Um, but as you can see, these are really, they're going to come out so cute, like I know they are, um, because once you run them into the lamination, uh, once you laminate them and run them in, oh my god, they look really, really pretty. So I just wanted to be sure. I want to show you because I know that sometimes I, you know, some people may feel like, you know what, I'd rather just do my own. And that's totally fine. You can do your own because, again, you will notice and you will see from experience once you do it that they are very time consuming. All right, so one, two, I should have 12 then. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, so as you can tell, I folded them up right with the hearts facing forward. Look how pretty they are, right? So what you want to do is just make sure that you have folded them very well, right? Um, so I'm gonna just move this to the side so that you can be able to see what I'm gonna be doing. 
Let me move this over as well. Okay, so this is the laminator that I will be using. This is a Fellows laminator. So it's already on green. So you wanna be sure that you have, definitely make sure that your laminator is not on red because red still indicates that it still hasn't warmed up. So now it's ready to laminate, right? So then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get your paper. I'm gonna show you the paper that I use. I don't use cheap paper. So when I'm um, creating all of my envelopes, I'm actually using like really good paper and I'm actually using the, the brand that matches the laminator, which is Fellows. And these are your thermal laminating pouches. I'm so, again, these are five mil. I think that I should be able to fit maybe um, one, two, three, four, I think like six. So I'm just gonna need two sheets since I have 12. Right. So, you know, you just have to be like really careful when you're making them and you will need like depending on the laminator that you have some kind of, of um, just space here so that, well, in other words, you would have to add like maybe like a book or two just to be sure so that way when you place in your, let me just put this here to see, um, I'll do this. And you might need another one just to make sure that it's um, actually. Okay, I think that should be good. And then I'm going to need another one to just make sure that when I grab it up on the other end, that it doesn't, doesn't mess up, right? I think and you want to be really careful when you're doing these, okay? But like I said, the end product will look really sweet, like really nice. Okay, so let me just make sure that you can see. I'm sorry, guys. My camera just kind of like... Okay. Alrighty. So like I said, this is your 5 mil paper. So I have two here. Let me put this one to the side. Okay, so what you want to do is that once you open it, right, you want to be sure not to grab your envelopes. Keep them in the same direction in which you folded them because you want to keep the opening to the top, right? That may not matter for everyone. For me, it does because I'm always very detailed and I just like everything to be nice and neat. And you can kind of say I like to be a perfectionist, even though I know I'm not perfect, um, but I strive for perfection. So I'm placing them face up, right? I want to say you can fit at least six of them in one sheet. Right, make sure you're spacing them apart and I'm gonna show you on camera how that's gonna look like so you know how much of a space you're going to need. Because you wanna allow enough space to cut them without without the seal opening up from the lamination. Okay, so this is gonna be the first sheet. And then hopefully everything comes out good and the cutting will be good and then you can see how beautiful it looks. So there you have it. I'm gonna move my camera so you can see how it looks. So you have six of them that fit on one sheet. Okay. I'm trying really hard so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so now you're just gonna go ahead and run it through the lamination, through the laminator and that's it. You allow the laminator to do its work. It takes a little bit of time, which again, very time consuming because just think about doing this. And if you're making a hundred envelopes and there's only six that fit in a sheet, you're gonna be here for a little bit of time, right? So it's very um, time consuming, very well worth it once you do it, which is why I can see why a lot of people choose not to make them and they just make them for themselves. Um, but I just, I, I enjoy doing this. I love doing this. I love making just pretty, um, anything that's stationary, anything of, that's creating really nice paper products so that my customers can be happy. I just enjoy doing it, um, even though it's time consuming, but yeah, you're going to see, I'm gonna show you how they look as they're coming out of the laminator. Look how beautiful. So you wanna make sure to keep it straight the page and then I like to actually run it for like, one to two times you can even do more than that 
just because you want to be sure now this time you can flip it um just because you want to make sure that they stay in place and that the lamination paper does not open right so you do and when you purchase them obviously just you know keep in mind that they are handmade so you want to be gentle with them you want to be careful with them because you don't want to cause for them to rip on you which of course i know i've seen videos where it has happened to some not from my store at least not from those that have purchased from me but i've seen how it can happen i mean i've purchased i'm even from some cash envelopes and sometimes they do tend to open so you have to just be you know really attentive to that and just be sure that you are taking the best care of your cash envelope so that your binder can look to be top the best okay so that would be two times i think i'm gonna run it just one more time just because i like to just be on the safe side and I'm just walking you through the steps and what I do and how I do it. So once again, so like if you're in the mood of doing, you know, doing a DIY, doing it yourself, then at least you have some kind of understanding on how to do it. So I'm going to run it just one last time. Okay. And like I said, as you can see, it's already looking super pretty. Look at that just pretty right so just so you can see okay my apologies that my my camera's just like okay perfect all right so you're going to see what i will do because i will be using my um paper cutter and it would be nice to know where i put the paper cutter so let's see they are going to look really nice oh there it is okay so i'm going to show you very time consuming as you can see i'm not running this on, on, on fast play or speeding it because i want you to actually just get a sense of how long it takes especially when you're running it through the laminator for just several times so okay that's it i'm done with Make sure you, after you're done, that you have it like on a flat surface. You may even want to place a couple of books on top of it so that it can just stay flat. I'm going to move the laminator over since we are done with that. Get the paper cutter. We still have one, two, three. We still have six to add to. Actually, yeah, I'm sorry about that. We still have the other six. You know what? I'll do those off camera, the, 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 the next set of six. Um, but I would just want to show you how this is going to look. Okay, so now that you have that, let me move everything else to the side. Okay. All right, y'all. So here it is. This is how it's going to look. So remember, I put them face up this way. So you just want to make sure to remember. And you will know by your hearts. So my hearts on this side are faced up. So what I do is just I eyeball it just to start with before I start making measurements. I'm just gonna eyeball to just cut. All right, make sure as you're cutting, you're keeping them flat down in the same direction that you're cutting the rest, okay? Same direction you're cutting the rest, place them on the side, right? Now you wanna go half here. Still cut them like this. Go half here. All right, and then you're gonna, that's for now, after you've done the big parts that you have cut them down, then you're gonna grab one, and then that's the one you're gonna start cutting according to measurement. So because I told you that these are three inches by three inches, you wanna be sure to just cut only like, um, I wanna say, like literally, Like I want to say like that much right there. I am um, so like, like literally a line, a slither of a line because you don't want to cut it too much because then it'll just open up. So if you look at my, um, what I'm doing, I'm going to show you exactly. You will see that according to this measurement here that I'm placing it right inside this box, right? So when I do that, 
you'll see this is where it's going to get cut, which is going to be exactly a, a slither of a line, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and cut one just so that you can see how it looks. Just want to make sure I don't cut too much. Okay, that one's cut. And then I'm going to do the same for this side. Cut, right? Then you're going to cut the bottom. Same measurements you're using for the sides, you're going to use for the bottom. And then, of course, now for the top, you want to be sure to cut, I would say, just like a little line underneath, right? So this way, that's where you're going to make your opening. So you're going to see the opening right now. Okay. And you'll hear, you'll know that you cut through paper because it's going to feel thicker when you cut through. So. And there you have it, budgeters. Friends, this is how you make your own cash um envelope for your savings challenges and these you don't you know you don't really have to label them because like if you make like 40 of these 40 times 25 then you'll have a thousand dollars saved on each envelope so you can just leave your envelopes blank you don't really have to label them with the amount however that is a choice for you you can actually just put like a little label and just put either 25 dollars for each envelope 40 dollars for each envelope um whatever it is um, so, yep, yeah, there you have it. And this is how you create your own cash envelope. So, if you haven't subscribed, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to hit that subscribe button. Join my network. Join Barbie Smart Budgeting, where I bring you videos on faith, finances, and budgets, and everything money. So, with that being said, thank you for connecting. And this was Barbie Smart Budgeting. Bye-bye.